the textbook shortage in Britain's classrooms is, please believe, behind an alarming string of robberies. It's 10.30am on the morning of Thursday, April the 4th, a normal day at Wallington Public Library. <laughs> the guys scrupulously observe the library's no-talking rule. They got away with over 200 books, mostly Shakespeare and other national curriculum authors, although they also took French and German textbooks and a dinosaur wall chart. <laughs> One old lady made a brave attempt to give the police a description. <laughs> it was here that the criminals made their fatal slip one which leads police to believe that they were almost certainly teachers. <laughs> 200 books would have been a considerable weight. Well, uh, Detective Inspector, an alarming incident. Do you have any suspects from within the teaching community? Yes, indeed we do. We are currently looking for a Mr. Sullivan. Now, <laughs> we have a very good description of him from some of his pupils. He's described as white, mid-thirties, about five foot ten, bit of a sad dresser, div brain, <laughs> boring, and several of the class have told us he has appalling dandruff and uses the nickname Flaky. <laughs> he, he uses that nickname? No, 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 his, his class do. <laughs> We're also looking for a Mr. Potter, he's described. <laughs> As OK, quite a good bloke. Buys the six formers drinks in the pub and puts the stereo MCs on during art lessons. <laughs> Mr. Potter is also known by the nickname Mr. Pothead, <laughs> although none of the parents know this. <laughs> we think he may be the ringleader. So, what about the third member of the gang? Well, we think this is a character we have come across before. A hardened criminal, a vicious case. Marjorie Buttermere. <laughs> Deputy Head of St Swithin's Middle School in Coolston, which he was arrested last week in a music shop trying to smuggle out 14 descant recorders and a set of chime bars. 